Ladies and gentlemen, stay at home and play more games like Pang Adventures. You're probably thinking, what the hell is Pang? Well, it's a little uh, little arcade game that uh, I remember playing back on the Game Boy, actually. And uh, I'm currently playing the Switch version of this. Pang Adventures, what is it? It's a game where you shoot bulls with a, with a spiky gun. It's a puzzle arcade game. Yeah. I got up to a boss here, but let's... Uh, do I have to do the boss? No, I don't. Let's go back and start at the beginning. And show you guys what this game's about. I'm the little character at the bottom of the screen, and I pop balls. You're probably thinking, well, that list seems kind of easy. Well, it starts off easy, I'll tell you that much, but the game itself is quite tough. Now, like I said, I played it back on the Game Boy. That was the first time I'd ever heard of Pang. I believe it is an arcade game. And it's all about popping these alien balls that come down. Um, you get different weapons, as you will now see. Different weapons. You get different types of balls you have to fight, different locations. Music? Pretty good. Like, the music in the Game Boy game was uh, really good, but... It's quite a simple game. Like, there's nothing too complicated. Uh, now this game does does add in boss fights. Now that is my tiny tiny little gripe with the game is that boss fights in this game are probably my least favourite. But the actual gameplay itself is quite rewarding because even when you die, which will most likely happen, um, you get back in the action pretty quickly. Each level is a puzzle. You have a time limit of doing things. There are other things in this game to be aware of. There are different creatures that can appear. Give me a a weapon. That'd be great. No! There we go. That's what happens when you get KO'd. It's a one hit and done. Ah, there we go. We've got the double spike. Or sting as it's called. And you can see you can just stand here and chuck it out. Uh, there is the Vulcan gun or the minigun that you've seen. There is a sticky version of what I'm currently using. Uh, there is a flamethrower. Um, and I believe there's other weapons as well. There we go. But you're already starting to see basically what this game is. What this game is. Here we go, got some crabs. Now the crabs here are really useful because what they allow you to do is they pop. They pop the balls for you. So these guys are the good crabs. You want these guys, these guys are on your side. Now there are enemy other enemies like these hermit crabs that will stun you. Ow, don't do that. That's exactly what you shouldn't do. Is get hit by the uh, balls. But yes, there are enemy crabs. There are seagulls that poop eggs on you. Um, I'm trying to think if there's something else. I believe there's one other. There's like a fairy that you can shoot that flies across the screen as well. And each, each it's basically each level is a puzzle, and it gets progressively harder. We'll do this one, and then we'll jump out into some later levels. And show off some more, more difficult ones. These these crabs, the friendly crabs, you gotta love them. Helping me out, like a boss. There we go, and they should finish the job for me. Look at that, nice and easy. Just quit out of this set of levels. So you got, you can see, uh, we started in Bora Bora. There's a, there's a boss. We'll come back to the bosses in a minute. Let's go to Scotland. Let's go have a look in Scotland. This is later in the game. Now you can see there's a red ball with a lightning bolt in it. These will fire down your cord, which means ideally you need a weapon that isn't like that. Ideally you need a weapon that isn't metal. So the Vulcan, the Flamefire, any of the other guns that do not require you to uh, use a metal. I will say the music in this level, pretty sweet. And I, I give the cr game credit, it's got good music. I've done it again. And now the, the lightning balls that I'm fighting right now are the, probably the, one of the hardest enemies I've come across because you really do have to think about what you're doing when you shoot. Like you can't, you can't stand still like you could in some areas. Some levels just let you stand still and fire and it's all... 
That was my fault. I find that these things absolutely mess with my head. Also, this is like a, um... This is like a retelling of the first level. You saw there was just one singular ball, now you've got this, but with lightning abilities. And each world introduces something new. And, uh... So hopefully... I mean, we do get to hear this really awesome music a lot more. So, yeah. This game's, this game's hard. Like, it, this game doesn't break any... Uh, so now we've got the blue ones, which bounce all over the place. And then you've also got those smoke bubbles. They obscure your vision. Later on, you get ones that drop lava. There's all kinds of things. But you can see that there's definitely some... Um, challenge to this there's definitely some interesting mechanics let's just jump out let's go and show off the world i just did which was hong kong and this was this was hard this was a hard world you can see oh you can see the shotgun i forgot about the shotgun very 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 good weapon <laughs> as you can see absolutely murders everything kind of broken actually Yeah, <laughs> just a little bit broken, <laughs> but everything on this this particular um, this particular world, you can see that uh, the shotgun kills everything in that blast radius. But yeah, essentially, this this is the world that throws everything at you. First couple of levels are fairly straightforward, but it gets harder and harder. But basically, now you've got an idea of what this game is. I'm playing this on the Switch. Um, oops. Oh, yeah, slow down time. Very good. Okay. Hit the balls as much as you can. Um, but yeah, this is a game that I would recommend. It's actually quite a fun. I definitely think you've got to have some patience to play. Oh, dear. There, you have to have patience to play this because I'm probably going to die now. We'll see. Yeah. Because it is that kind of game. It will test your patience. Uh, there are some levels that are just generally tough. Right, let's show off a boss. Let's, uh... I'm, I'm assuming I can do the bosses again. I'll start with the easiest one. I don't like the bosses, personally. I think having a boss in this is kind of unnecessary. I think a final boss would be cool, but I don't think you need all of these. They're fairly straightforward. You just gotta shoot the tentacles. The downside is that all the bosses are the same. Which kind of sucks. They all work this, the same mechanic. And they add stuff as they go on. And then they sh shoot stuff from their eye later on. Oh, and this... I forgot this guy jumps around, doesn't he? Let's try that again. So this boss is actually kind of annoying because the other bosses don't tend to bounce like that. They sort of go around all over the place. They, they teleport in the sky and drop lava down and stuff. Which, unfortunately, makes the first boss kind of tough unnecessarily, I think. But <clears throat> once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. You just have to... I mean, that's why they give you this shield. As you can see. So it's not particularly difficult, that boss. But they can be fiddly. In a game where you basically get one and done here, it can be very tough to keep track of the bulls as well as um, the boss itself. For a contrast... Oops, I didn't mean to click next there. Unless we get introduced to the blue ball that bounces differently. What I meant to do was show off one final thing being... The Hong Kong boss that I just did. Which is significantly harder. <clears throat> and has a lot more mechanics than the one I've just done. <laughs> He's got a lot more arms. And you can already see he takes a lot more hits. 
But since the unfortunate thing with this game is that pretty much all the bosses are the same. Um, which, you know. Oh yeah, we've got seagulls. Here they come. Game kind of throws a lot at you. Oh, a flamethrower. Which is great, but I can't reach. But the flamethrower does let me get rid of these. Ah, there we go. Sting 2. What we want. And as you can see, this gets far more hectic. Luckily, when they have shit. Ooh. Having that definitely made my life a lot easier. And they got a metal one that I can't destroy, I don't think. Just knock it around. I don't actually know what the attack does on this. Oh, there we go. That's what it does. But there you go. I'm not going to spend time doing a boss again. You've got an idea of the game. You can see that this is definitely an arcade game. It's, obviously, it's a new one. It's inspired by that. There is one other mode, um, which I'll quickly show off, which is the panic mode. Which you have three lives, and you have to just try and pop as many balls as possible. This is quite a fun mode. Starts off slow. And you get double sting as well, which is nice. So this is for more of if you like a challenge, uh, an ever increasing challenge, this is the kind of mode for you. And you get, and you can already see that it starts to get a bit nuts. Every time you get one of those time things, that also extends it. And I just ran into that like a pleb. There's the fairy. Get the fairy. Always good. And those little things that come at the bottom <clears throat> give you extra points. Uh, downside is they die in basically one hit. So you do have to be careful. Now, we've got a lot of different uh, balls popping on the screen. As you can see, it gets a bit hectic. A lot of thinking about this and like looking where the balls are dropping and things like that. Definitely making the most of those exclamation marks as well. <laughs> but yeah, you get the idea. I'm not going to do an entire round of it. But that is Pang Adventures. For <clears throat> it's on the Switch. That's where I've got it. Recommend it. It's a very, uh, if you like your arcade games, it's a very short, sweet game. I've almost finished the tour mode, I think. Um, then you unlock score mode and things. So, yeah, not a bad little pickup if you like your arcade games, if you like a fast-paced game, if you like, you know, bite-sized action, a very pick-up-and-play game, then I would recommend Pine Adventures. Anyway, that's going to do it for me today then, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, if you like the video, hit like. If you want to see more content like this, then hit subscribe. Links for Facebook and Twitter will be down below in the description, as always. And until next video, I will see you then.